find yourself a, a seat or a comfortable spot. I want to thank all of you for joining us today to celebrate Dean Lei Nam Chang. As Lei Nam embarks on the next chapter of his academic career, we are certainly delighted to take this opportunity to recognize his achievements today and to express our deep appreciation for his remarkable leadership and his service to the college. As many of you know, Lei Nam joined Virginia Tech in 1978 as a professor and researcher in the Department of Physics, where he later served as a department head. He was then asked to serve as the last dean of the College of Arts and Sciences and take on the challenging role of leading the college through a massive restructuring. Lei Nam and I have talked about this many times. I can't imagine what that year was like. In 2003, he stepped into his current position as the founding dean of the College of Science with a specific charge to build a new college and develop a new mission. Ever since then, he has proudly introduced himself as the university's chief geek, a title that he has worn with great pride and distinction. It is my understanding that Lei Nong assured his wife, Jeannie, when they were moving to Blacksburg all those years ago, that they would only be here for maybe two, three years. <laughs> Jeannie and Leon, we are so glad that you two chose to make this place your home. Personally, and for those of you who I have not had a chance to meet, um, I am Jenny Orsalic, I probably should have said that at the beginning, Director of Development. But personally, I have had the great fortune of working closely with Lainam for nearly 10 years. It's amazing how quickly time flies. Together, we have traveled the country, coast to coast, several times, logged thousands of miles, both on the road and in the air, shared hundreds of meals together. I can tell you all of his favorite foods and also everything he stays away from. I'm certain of that. And we visited countless Hokie alumni and friends. So I think it's fair to say that I know this man pretty well. I know his stories. I definitely know his jokes. <laughs> and I know many of his habits, both good and bad, and his routines. For example, I know better to, than to ever schedule an early morning meeting with Lainam. Certainly before he makes his daily trek to Starbucks. I think probably many of you in this room know that as well. But as I reflect on the past 10 years with him, what stands out most is his love for and his belief in the College of Science and its people, our faculty, staff, students, alumni, and friends, including the college's roundtable advisory board, several who have made the trip to join us today. I can assure you that there is no one who loves this college more than Lainam. And currently, no one who tells our story with more passion and more conviction. I have watched in awe, he hates when I tell this story, I've watched in awe when he's spoken to Hokies, and what stands out most is when he's talked to the uh, 50th class reunion each year for probably the last three or four reunions. And afterwards, they line up to talk to him like he's a rock star. I mean, there's a line going around the room to shake his hand and to tell him, to let him know just how impressed they are with the college's vision, and so proud to see they're on the water, heading in exciting new directions. As dean of the college, Lainam has inspired thousands of alumni and friends to invest in the college, securing more than 85 million in outright gifts and future commitments of support for our, our departments and our programs. At last count, something like, something on the order of 70 scholarships, eight endowed faculty positions, and numerous other excellence and program funds. I believe that this will be just one of the many lasting legacies. And on behalf of current and future science Hokies, I'd like to say thank you. Our speakers today include colleagues and friends from across Virginia Tech, a true, re a true reflection of the relationship that Lainam has built over the years that includes disciplines that span the entire university one of his greatest strengths. To kick things off, it is certainly my pleasure to introduce our president, Dr. Tim Sands, to, chair, to share his reflections on Dean Chang. Thanks, 
very much, Jenny. Uh, Lena and Jeannie, uh, we're not saying goodbye. We're just going through a transition here. And it gives us an opportunity to reflect back on, on your contributions to Virginia Tech and the College of Science. I've only been at Virginia Tech for two years, so um, I don't have the depth of knowledge of the, the early days. But um, I, too, have been incredibly impressed with your ability to lead through a really compelling vision. I saw the aftermath of the latest uh, 50th year reunion. I walked in, I think, after you spoke, and uh, everything was downhill from there. Uh, <laughs> I, I kept running into our alums saying they were so inspired, so excited. And I did see that rock star glow that Jane just talked about. Just a fantastic ambassador for science, but also for Virginia Tech. I think this is amazing. I'm not a big word club fan, but this captures Lena, I think, so well. The part I'm wondering about is Floyd. So are you a flat footer or a show us that? Uh, there are a couple in there. Uh, Dr. Soon, I think I know what that means, but, uh, but um, we'll have to explore this later. Right? I'd like to just uh, echo some of the things that uh, Jenny already alluded to, that if you really think of the um, impact you've had, and, and I, again, I've seen some of this, it's, uh, it's been truly tremendous. To have started up a college essentially 13 years ago and to lead it to the place it is now, um, not only the place it is now, but the place it's becoming is really extraordinary. Uh, one of the things that I uh, really respect, and because I know it's difficult, and I know many of you have been involved in this too, but Lanon has really been our leader on campus in advocating for uh, the value of integrated science, but interdisciplinary work in general. And uh, your influence has been uh, not only creative, it's been brave because you've moved the institution into places that are very difficult for uh, typical universities to go. And in a way that um, I feel like we're, we're ahead of the game. Uh, when we look at the work that you've done with integrated sciences, with neuroscience, nanoscience, uh, uh, computational um, modeling, data analytics, uh, go down the list. Uh, did I say nanoscience? Yeah. Um, all these fields that are, are really uh, at the forefront and that we think of as research fields, um, you've been one of the only, and certainly among the first to in the country, to move these new domains into the undergraduate curriculum and to treat them in an integrated fashion. And we're building off that. If you look at the work that we're doing in destination areas that are provost of thanosis, that are caucuses leading, and beyond boundaries in general, all, a lot of the themes that you see coming out of that year-long process had their roots in uh, the College of Science and in Leon's vision. So we're so um, thankful for everything that you've done for Virginia Tech and the College of Science. Uh, we do not want you to go far, so we're going to keep you close. But, uh, but we're so glad we had these uh, 13 years with you as, as the dean. Um, I think uh, it, you know, words can't express the, the, the full value of your contribution, but I would say that uh, I, if we gather together five years from now or ten years from now, it will be much more apparent that what you've achieved in your time as dean is a small amount of the transformation and the advances in, at Virginia Tech that you will have been responsible for when, when all is said and done. So, uh, Dean Chang, uh, we're going to miss you on an everyday basis, but, but we hope you stay close and we can rely on your sage counsel. I saw that in there. Uh, and I think uh, to continue this, we're, I understand we're going to have a series of uh, five or ten PowerPoint presentations. <laughs> <laughs> Dean Benson is uh, squirming over there. <laughs> but we all have different ways to say goodbye to honor our colleges. And you know, it's kind of a tough time for a, a provost and a president to have the dean of science and dean of engineering both incredibly successful in leaving their colleges. Um, say their goodbyes in one year. That, that's, that's a big fraction of this campus. But uh, know that your work will, will continue and, and uh, we'll see the, the benefits uh, continue well into the future. So thank you, Leinon. It's been a pleasure working with you for these two years. Celebrate Lenam's major accomplishments 
during the last 13 years as Dean of the College of Science. For 10 of those 13 years, which by the way happened to be my period of stay here at Virginia Tech, I have known him as a member of the ICTA Stakeholder Board, but more importantly, as a dear friend and esteemed colleague. I still clearly remember my first lunch meeting with Dean Chang during my recruiting trip to Virginia Tech 10 years ago. He shared with me, beside the usual recruiting matters, the history of ICTAS, accomplishments of Virginia Tech, College of Science, some unique facts about the New River. Number one, he told me, the New River is actually an old river. Somewhere between 10 and 300 million years old. Okay. Number two, it flows primarily from south to north, a feature shared by a handful of rivers, the Nile River being one of them. I was impressed. <laughs> uh, we bonded instantly, and since then we had many luncheons over which we caught up with happenings at ICTAS, Institute for Critical Technology and Applied Science, College of Science, and I may dare say, happening around the world. We were able to solve actually, theoretically, he's a theoretical physicist, theoretically, over the table, many major problems, or solve many major problems facing humanity, actually many times over, uh, <laughs> using a few esoteric concepts, from singularity to the string theory. I have no idea what these had to do with the immediate business of Victor's, but it felt good. <laughs> well, many, may, many of you may recall, uh, Lena actually introduces himself many a time as the nerd in chief or the Greek in chief. He told me he wears that badge with pride. I call him a physicist in chief. Like a true physicist, he is curiosity driven and every student in and offline. He has an uncanny ability to get to the root of a problem and unravel underlying mysteries. As an engineer, Wayan, focused on problem solving, I found his perspective very refreshing and rewarding. It spoke to the very need for interdisciplinary research that we were trying to nurture at Virginia Tech. Lenham's passion for interdisciplinary interdisciplinarity extends beyond research in education, and actually President Sands already spoke to it. Uh, he is forward-looking in his approach and has introduced innovative interdisciplinary educational programs, including the development of a signing uh, minor with the College of Engineering, bringing science to market programs with the Pemperin College of Business, new interdisciplinary programs in their many. Uh, in nanoscience, neuroscience, system biology, and a PhD program, the College of Agriculture and Biosciences. Wow, that's a pretty long list of accomplishments that is truly amazing. D. Lenham, you have been a founding dean and stakeholder board member of ICTAS, Institute for Critical Technology and Applied Science, since its inception. During all these years, we at ICTAS have benefited greatly from your guidance and wisdom. Thank you. As a token of our appreciation, we have a couple of gifts, which I do hope will remind you of ICTAS, in the development and progress of which you had a big role to play. So Angelica, who is with ICTAS now, and used to be a, stu a student in the College of Science, she has a couple of these gifts for you. Sometimes we met over a cup of coffee in the late evenings. I sought and received your advice and guidance on taking ICTAS to the next level of excellence and application. In your gentle and nerdy way, you <laughs> nudged me to clarity and direction to solve problems abroad to the table. Thank you very much. I uh, one more thing. <laughs> I do hope we can continue these luncheon meetings in the future and continue our journey to do bigger and better things in our new incarnations.
yours and mine. Thank you very much.